in the British Army. Defend us day by day by your heavenly power and help us to know that we can never pass beyond the reach of your care. Keep alive in us your vision of that peace which alone we must seek and serve. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we remain standing for the hymn and for the burial. of that unknown soldier will make its way up the central avenue of the cemetery to the last of 250 graves. as a diversion from the Battle of the Somme, which had begun a few days earlier. Virtually no ground was taken, and that which was captured was lost again before the day was out. The losses were horrendous. The 5th Australian Division, in action for the first time in Europe, lost 5,533 men killed, wounded or taken prisoner or just simply missing, meant that it was incapable of taking part in any actions for months to come. The 61st British Division, alongside it, lost 1,547 men. The war grave figures suggest that between the 19th and 20th of July 1916, the Australian dead at Fromel amounted to 1,780, the British 503, German casualties were over a thousand and all for so little. This coffin contains a soldier as yet unidentified, so who were the British regiments in, involved? Well, the records which survived fires during the Blitz in 1940 suggest that the Gloucestershire Regiment, now the rifles, fought there. The Oxford, Oxfordshire and Buckinghamshire Light Infantry, also now part of the Rifles. The Royal Warwickshire Regiment, now part of the Royal Regiment of Fusiliers. And the Machine Gun Corps, disbanded after World War I and uh, no longer in existence. From Australia, the Australian 5th Division, with soldiers from the 8th, the 14th and the 15th. After the battle, the scale of loss was so huge that when the Germans took their trenches back during the heat of a summer's day, they had to bury those who had fallen as quickly as possible. These mass graves were dug, personal effects were taken and returned via the Red Cross, but the whereabouts of the graves was lost until a couple of years ago. Now, at last, these men will receive the honours that they didn't get back in 1916.
Fromel's final ceremony. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me 